Welcome. In this video, I wanted to talk about CPR. Not CPR like cardiopulmonary resuscitation, but CPR like crankcase pressure regulating, your crankcase pressure regulating valve. Now, typically in class, I tell the students, go ahead and just reverse the name, and that will usually tell you what it does. So here we see CPR regulates the pressure of the crankcase crankcase pressure regulating valve. So we're going to monitor and we're going to regulate the pressure that is in the crankcase of the compressor. Now we have the compressor. Compressor is going to be, let's say, something like this. In the compressor, we're going to have the suction valve like this. We're going to have the discharge valve like this. And that's your dividing point. Here is your piston. Here's your cylinder and down here is going to be your motor. Down here at the bottom of course we're going to have some oil down here at the bottom. Now the pressure is going to be coming in here. It's going to be coming in here from the evaporator. So in other words we're going to have your metering device down here, I mean your liquid line here. There's your metering device right there and then we're going to come out of there and it's going to go right into the evaporator this evaporator is going to be at a specific temperature. Now the temperature, we know what the temperature is going to be or what the temperature is because of the pressure. So we can have an actual pressure gauge here, let's say, and let's say this reads 37 PSIG. Also, let's say that this happens to be R22, whatever. The point is that that pressure is going to tell you what the temperature of the evaporator is. Let's say that this is not on an air conditioning system. Let's say this is on a refrigerator or a freezer or something that keeps the food or keeps something very cold. When we look at a PT chart, 37 is going to convert to approximately 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the temperature of this coil. This coil, because an evaporator is still going to evaporate the refrigerant, and at some predetermined point is going to start to superheat it. Okay. Now, this is going to come and it's going to go right into the compressor because that's our suction line right here. Let's say that in this box where this coil is, we're keeping our food, we're keeping whatever it is that we want to keep cold, but we come here and we go ahead and put a lot of warm food. This warm food is going to be giving off heat like this. This evaporator is going to do its job and it is going to absorb the heat from the evaporator. Because it absorbs the heat, the refrigerant is going to boil faster. As the refrigerant boils faster, the compressor is not really going to be able to keep up with the load. Because of that, this compressor is going to get overloaded. Well, the compressor, we always say that it is the heart of the refrigeration system. It draws the refrigerant from the suction line, from the evaporator, and is going to pump it out into the condenser. If we overwork this compressor, if the suction pressure goes up too high, our pressures are going to climb and when that happens the compressor is going to overload. To keep that from happening then we place your CPR valve right there. This is going to regulate the pressure that's going to the crankcase. Now the manufacturer they know what they're doing. They know how these things are supposed to be set up so they have set up this compressor, they have built this compressor to handle that pressure. If the pressure goes up too high, that compressor is going to overload. This crankcase pressure regulating valve is going to keep that from happening. Once you put food in here, or you leave the door open, or for whatever reason the load increases, the pressure will build up. This is going to make sure that the compressor is not overloaded. That's the, press, that's the purpose of your crankcase pressure regulating valve. It is similar to the evaporator pressure regulating valve that I talked about in a previous video or in another video. So take a look at that and see how that one works because that one works with different evaporators. This one is intended to save the compressor. 
The other ones are intended to work with the evaporator. So that's the purpose of this. I hope this helped. My name is Julio from American Academy. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube, my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook. If you have suggestions about other videos you want to see, just go ahead and send the suggestions to me. I'll see what I can do about getting the videos out. Okay? Thank you.